Look at my Star Trek toys! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a very special episode of Look at My Star Trek Toys, in which I show eh, Mike and Deglio some amazing Star Trek toys. And today, we have a special feature episode. Uh, and today is another episode from our great friend Chris Mitchell over at CRM, who is our friend and patron. You can see all of his stuff right here in the links below. But today we are going to be featuring figures that don't exist anywhere else in the world other than customizers. Mm. Unlike a lot of the ones that we show, we're seeing uh, you know changes or additions to existing lines. But today we are going to be looking at a complete cast, or at least of the uh, of the main cast of Picard, oh, Picard cool. season three. So we are going to see uh, th these, they don't exist. So these are the only ones. <laughs> Nothing to sneeze about. Mm. <laughs> that was terrible. Well done. Well done. I, I, I tried to save it. I tried to save it, but you know. Uh, so it's Chris is, really. Keith is allergic to great work. <laughs> um, wow. I don't I, know which was, was worse. Vote below. This is terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed for us both. Uh, but. Please do not take our incompetence as a sign of this amazing work from Chris Mitchell. So we're going to work our way through the Next Generation cast as seen on Picard Season 3, starting with the man himself, Jean-Luc Picard, now Admiral Jean-Luc Picard, uh, with Chris's figure. I mean, as usual, his facial sculpts and 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 hand painting here are amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, photography it's, ain't so shabby either. Photography is great. Uh, and and so I, I, I put these in with screenshots from the show so you can see just how astoundingly accurate uh, Chris's work always is. So, uh, so here we are, Admiral Picard. Uh, we've got a couple of different angles here, but what's great about what we're going to show you here is not only the figures, but Mike, your favorite part we're going to see the packaging as well for these yeah. figures. So here is the Admiral Picard packaging here from CRM Customs. Now, I know you're going to ask, does this really exist? Well, not yet. I mean, the figures very much do, um, but they're not being sold retail anywhere. However, Chris does occasionally accept uh, the uh, commissions. Or either figures that he's made himself, and then sometimes people commission figures of themselves. I mean, I can't imagine who would be narcissistic enough to have a figure of themselves. Oh, wait, that's me. So, uh, yes, it is definitely possible to do there uh, when he's accepting commissions, which is not all the time. So when you see it available, get on that train. Mike, what do you think of that box? You know I love it. Uh, did he design the box as well? or did I believe so, yeah. Look, look at the... Yes. Look at the bottom left of it too, because it's even got just like depth of the cardboard. Like it's not even just like a a simple PNG, right? It's really well done. Everything he does is so thought out and well designed. Just excellent. And the the it's, figure though, I mean, is just like I can't stop. The jawline. Yeah, well, the, like, you know what's pieces, really hard man? about head sculpts is having it look like that person on multiple angles yeah sometimes fair. it looks like them dead on sometimes it looks three quarters or, or profile but to have it look like you know patrick stewart from all angles is really an accomplishment and uh you know exactly what we would expect from an artist like chris so uh very very cool now of course we've got our we've got our captain we might need another captain mm. and that is of course Captain William T. Riker, look at fly. Oh, he's looking nice. He's got it. He's got it. He's he's looking in Deglio esque. Yeah, a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. A little more salt than pepper. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you can see the uh, the contemporary new Starfleet uniforms that they're wearing that with, with layers, cool. which which I appreciate uh, as as someone else also aging into uh, my. Prime, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, I like layers as well in my outfits, which they uh, the costume designers for season three definitely helped there. Um, but uh, really just, you know, again, 
all the layers in the fabric and the the tiny little pips. And of course, Chris hand paints everything he does. The painting's really stellar too. Man, that uniform is cool. I can't believe I'm not allowed to watch this show. You're not allowed to watch it, buddy. Sorry. But once we finish, once we finish Deep Space Nine. All right. What do you say we take a look at Riker's box? That came out differently than I meant to, but oh, uh, right, but he, yeah. here it is. I I like these these box design with the ship warping through and like and the color of that that blue, mm-hmm. which is sort of the color palette of season three. Um, which I, I really do like. See, now, though, I, you get me jealous. I want to start looking at the back of the box. I want to see the back of the box. Well, we don't have backs of the box yet, but it's, you know, someday. Someday. But uh, JD's pretty yeah. talented, pretty good at that. Maybe he's doing a That's collab, true. A yeah, collab. JD, get on get, a collaboration here. That could, that could work out great. Uh, but yeah, I mean, how good would these things look on the uh, on the shelves? Get them on the pegs. Dude, that's you have some pegs, don't you? I do. I sure do. Because that's a fun way to have these displayed, too. Be really great. Yeah. Yeah. I've got my box hanging up over here. Oh, there. That's true. Yeah, because JD made us boxes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, so cool. So uh, you, you can't have Riker without Troy. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, here we are. Oh, look at that. Look at that hair. Uh huh. You know what? You know what? The, Chris's Troy is serving me, Keith. Mm, it's that? serving me in Dina Menzel. That's true. There a little, is a little yeah. bit of Adina in there. Uh-huh. A little a little Adele Dazim here on uh, <laughs> Picard season three. Oh, really, really cool. And so you can see that the the color palette, um, you know, of command to sciences, it's still retained here in these uniforms, which I really appreciate um, that it doesn't deviate too far. It still looks familiar with the colored shoulders, which, of course, is the Deep Space Nine patterns. Um with the black below and then color on the shoulders. But of course the original, I, I think it looks, I think it's a very good design mm-hmm. um, for these uniforms. And I like the scale between betwixt the two of them. Right. It's another thing that, that you don't always see, mm-hmm. right. Is, is scale variations among figures. Playmates has, they're all over the place. Um, and so this is, uh, this is exactly correct as of course we will come to expect. Um, Again, phenomenal box art right there. Uh, it could be a good poster too. Oh, be so badass! Yeah. Oh, and of yes. course, speaking of badass, here is Lavar Burton as Jordy, right here with his bionic eyes oh, as well, man, and like the so, salt and pepper Jordy in the hair. Is so cool. Just really, Mike really. loves the Jordy. I know Mike loves the Jordy. Looking great. Ugh. It's great. The 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 detailing to get the salt and pepper in the hair, that's not stripes, mm-hmm. but it's like literally individual dots. You know, if we're not going to go with, and, and I don't see any choking hazards here, so maybe we can drop the four and up. I think there's no choking hazards. Mm. Yeah, we probably do. Maybe three. Maybe three? I think a three-year-old it's, can it's handle it. Probably not going to go up your nose. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, so okay. when we go into retail. Here we go, buddy. You ready for it? I know. This All is right, your let's see. Oh, of course it's data. Now I I can't. I'm not going to get too far Isn't the into the whole first season. Like the search for data. Uh, because I watched no. the pilot or the first two. I think I watched, and it was like we were looking yeah. for them. Uh, no. We we're trying to uh, reassemble them or something. I, I forgot. It's been a while. I it yeah. I I I don't want to explain any further. Okay. Uh. Because there's a lot of story that happens <laughs> okay. uh, that I, I don't want to give away. He's looking very human. Right? Yeah, sure. And I, I, I don't want to talk about that either. Okay. So stop with the questions, Mike. Right. Stop making observations. I'm sorry I'm a fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Stop thinking and talking and observing, damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but again, the, the, the profile work. Is really really cool and really impressive, and side by side there to see the the uniforms there, and again, the scale, mm-hmm. right? Because Lavar is shorter than Brent, and that's it looks exactly correct in scale as well. So cool! What a badass box! So yeah, his might be the best box. This is a great screenshot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot lot going on there, uh, storytelling wise. 
So, so cool. So, so cool. Well, speaking of cool, who else we got? And of course, we have to have Dr. Beverly yes, Crusher. Yes, hair, dude. The hair, the paint job. Please. Yeah. Well, I I think the hair on season three, too. I think the, the sort of like, you know, mixture of black and yeah, white hair. Yeah, it's awesome. So cool. Man, she has aged so wonderfully. Like, just embracing it. Look, she looks awesome. Oh, absolutely. She looks phenomenal. Um, but the, the, the hair sculpt that Chris is able to do... Ooh. I imagine that's got to be fragile all the way on the end there for these 3D prints, but it's... Uh, you must paint it before you... No, it's part of the sculpt, right? I was going to say you the paint hair. the hair entirely before you put it on, but you no, I guess not. It's part of the... Well, thing. no, because, yeah, I, I, bet, I bet he paints the head inclusive of the hair before attaching it to the body, because we're going to have a really fun episode coming mm -hmm. up at some point of uh, Mike and I trying to paint CRM custom heads. Oh, yeah. So uh, there are no I don't see any femme heads in here, which I guess that yeah, I guess that when they, those or at least long hair. Yeah. When those hair. print, they you make sure they work. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Yeah. So we will. Yeah. So that, that's going to be really fun when we destroy some amazing mm -hmm. CRM custom heads. But we're going to get there. Probably in a couple of months. We'll we'll see uh, when that happens. But uh, once again, another fantastic box here with Beverly Crusher. Mike, there's there's only one cast member left. Can you think about who it might be? Well, I mean, is it the Squatter of the Defiant? <laughs> the Squatter of the Defiant. <laughs> yes, indeed. Of course, it's Worf. Wow, dude, Dorn too. What a cool, like. He's gone through so many design iterations, right? Yeah. It's kind of cool to see what, what's happened here. It's like rad. Worf going white hair. Badass. I mean, it, it, and I think Worf's journey has just every every iteration of Worf gets more badass. Mm -hmm. Because like the first version of him was like, eh, whatever. And then he went to like the Pantene Pro V Bob, which was like very far from badass. But then, as he let his hair grow longer, and then on Deep Space Nine, well, there's like, still gets, like what three seasons of of lore for me to to discover. So I can't, you can't say too much. That's right. Yeah, no. But like yeah, he I'm just glad to hear he makes it. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, but who knows? It's Star Trek. You know how these that's things a good work. Point. He could be an evil Riker. Could could be uh, could be any number of different things. But you've got the Baldric on there, um, as well as all the detailing. It's so. Cool. We've got another shot there. You can really get into this, and and sort of like the the integration of the war forehead ridges into like the natural wrinkling of the face. You know, you bring up something as as amazing as these are in person, and I love them in person. Chris's uh -huh. Chris's figures, a, like a a badass, like well backlit shot of each figure, blown up to like a three by three by one foot poster would be like really be awesome posters this, too. The, what are the size you do for these hours uh 11 by 17 perfect but like as the kind of yeah. a cropped zoom in of upper torso those would be awesome chris just saying could definitely do that yeah could sell those mm -hmm. those are easy or you could just like give those P P pdfs to me and i want to make some <laughs> You, you're a much better photographer the than full me. Full res pictures, yeah. right? Okay, great, great, exactly. Uh, or speaking the cast of shot, great, right, 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 and so we've oh, got no, another man. shot here on the bridge of the figures interacting again. You know, shallow depth of focus playing with there, mm -hmm. which is really, really cool. And then, of course, we got to finish with the hero shot of the whole cast with smoke. I mean, look at that. That's awesome, dude. That's your poster right there. Yeah. I mean, got a high res that of that. Is, Send it my way, baby. Yeah, yeah. Got to get the got to get the full res of that. But that is really, really cool. Um, so you know, you know, uh, yeah. the, we're running. You know, the biggest problem of toys. What's that, Mike? We're running out of we're running out of adjectives. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We need some custom adjectives. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's our <laughs> issue. You 3D print those. I bet AI can come up with something for us. That's probably true. Yeah. So uh, once again, all of Chris's contact info is in the show notes below. Definitely go out and check out 
Uh, his his Instagram page has it all broken out by series, and you can see the whole breadth of his collection, which is incredibly impressive. Um, so we thank uh, Chris for all of his support on the show. He is one of many people who are helping to keep the lights on here over at the KM Empire, including these fantastic patrons who are all helping us. Uh, either financially or by sending us stuff uh, to show on the show or just emotionally, just uh, letting us know that we're not shouting into the void uh, and having a chance to feature some incredible artists here on the show. We will continue doing that as we move forward. We'll have other unboxings of old figures, of contemporary figures, of ships, of playsets, all of it. If you want to reach us, you can do so at lookatmystartrektoys at gmail.com. We'll be back next week with a who knows what, because we don't always air them in order. So mm -hmm. I don't know when this is going to air. But uh, we thank you very much for watching, and we appreciate all of your support. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you back next week with another episode of... Look at my Star Trek toys! Whoosh!